Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you what I wore this week. Before I dive into the different things that I wore, I just want to show you a few things that I recently got that I've been absolutely loving. The first is this top. It's by Amazon. It's top rated, wonderful pullover knit that works really well with so many different things and such a great transitional season piece that I really recommended they have it in a few different colors. It's super soft and just very beautiful, luxurious fabric. I got this Skims inspired dress. It's just like the Skims dress, except it's $25 versus $86. And I also have this the Skims dress itself. I think I might prefer the Amazon version. I'm doing a full review on both of them in case you're considering them because it's a great spring dress either way. It's true to size, it's very flattering, and I, I think you'll love it. The other piece that I'm really excited to share, I have also by Amazon, and it's a t-shirt that's a bodysuit. It's just great for when you just want that really lean, tucked in look into your pants and skirts. So it's also very affordable. Next are these slingbacks by Amazon. Slingbacks are making a comeback for spring 2023. So these are just a great pair that are high quality. They're very comfortable and super affordable as well. Today we got a little lucky with the weather. So even though it's not sunny, at least it's pretty warm and it's not snowing, which means that I can wear my slingback shoes. Red is really having a moment this season. So if you have anything red in your closet, now is the time to pull it out. These trousers are by Amazon. They're super nice and flowy and very comfortable. They have pleats, they have pockets. There's like little loops for belts if you wanna belt it. The back has no pockets. And then I'm selling it with my Parisian L&M sweatshirt, as well as my full other blazer. This white and black bag to tie the outfit together. And then for a little bit more black and white, I'm wearing these um, zebra earrings by Kate Spade. These are currently on sale. They're super cute. So today is a really exciting day because we are getting a new member of the family tomorrow. So Nick and I are going to the pet store to pick up some things for the doggy. It's a girl, it's a little sheep poo that I fell in love with and I couldn't stop thinking about her. I saw her on our last trip to Florida, which I covered a few of the vacation looks that I had from the trip on a couple of videos ago. I kept visiting her and I fell in love with her, but I just couldn't picture owning a dog. I just thought it was very overwhelming. I travel a lot and I have two little boys that are young and I just couldn't picture it. And then I came home and my son got a fish for his birthday from his aunt. The next day I was feeding the fish and I got so much joy from feeding the little guy that I thought, you know what? I think I need to see if she's still available. So I called and they said, yes, she's still here. So what I'm wearing to this big shopping event, I'm wearing my comfortable Donald Kleiner wedge booties, which are on sale right now. These are great. It's still very cold here. It's, it's like in the thirties. And so I'm wearing these and I'll show you the rest. And then I'm wearing my free people full leather pants with an old Zara striped bodysuit. And I have this Gucci belt on, but I think I'm going to just remove it for just a very clean look. I had a couple of other coats on and I think I'm decided on this one because I just kind of want a very camel and stripey look. And then these shoes give me a little bit of extra height, which is great because I'm very average height. And then to kind of finish up the look, my pearl gold combination. So I have my diamond studs as well as these Miranda Fry earrings. Miranda Fry is just a great statement jewelry company that makes really quality jewelry. Their jewelry doesn't tarnish. It just really holds up very well. I've had these for a little over a year and they look like brand new. They're very shiny. So I love them. And then to finish the look, I have my by Milaner tote, the classic Elena, which is real vachetta leather. It's off we go. And then I, yeah, I think we might have lunch out since we're just making kind of a day of getting ready for the new pup. Yeah. Today I've kind of just lounged around in my robe and stuff, but we um, are going to dinner. These are my new St. and Sophia jeans. They're so cute. They're actually a very interesting denim, quite thin. They almost feel like leggings, slight little flare leg. And then this is just a beautiful knit sweater by them as well. Since there's still snow on the ground, I'm gonna wear these Vagabond knee-high boots that are just high enough. And because this outfit has a little bit of orange in it, I'm gonna add this handbag. It's Magnolia Fur, it's super, super soft and pretty. Quite the statement bag, very glamorous. And it's, it can be a crossbody as well. By Rocky's Rebels, luxury Western wear company that's female owned and I'm obsessed. It's just a little pop of color. I'm getting ready to shoot a spring capsule wardrobe video. 
that I'm really excited to share with you. Like so many outfits, with just a handful of pieces that I think are gonna really serve you for spring. So I will get that out to you as soon as possible. So my pajamas and uh, I'm wearing my new Soma PJs. They are really, really comfortable. I've never actually shopped at Soma before and I was pleasantly surprised. I these are the winter deer foams that I've been wearing, but I just got these. They're more, they're like a lighter fabric. They're quilted foam and they're super soft. It's just a great house slip on shoe if you like that. And then this is just kind of the classic fuzzy shirling slipper and they're great quality at the end. They're very inexpensive. So if you're at home a lot and like cozy feet, check out the deer foams. So good news is we got the puppy. Her name is Frida. I can't wait for you to meet her. The bad news is that I gave myself salmonella, so I had to take a couple of days off. I have not been this sick in a long time. Just a quick little note, just make sure your eggs are good. Smell them beforehand, cook them thoroughly. I was in a rush. I wasn't paying attention and I know better. And I was so sick. I'm gonna share my outfit with you because it's a really good spring transitional outfit. And we will meet Frida in a bit. I'm running a few errands today, so I'm just dressed really comfortably. I'm wearing my um, Skims inspired Amazon dress. That's $25 and I'm eager to review both of them. They're both quite different actually. And I might prefer this in some instances. Wearing another Amazon knit here. This is probably one of my favorite Amazon tops that I've gotten this year. So highly recommend. It goes all the way down like this, but it's just tucked into my bra. And then this is an old Revolve trench that is on sale actually, so I'll link it. It's a great spring layer. My shoes are also Amazon. I think they're about $40. They're just great. They're very comfortable. Then I'm wearing my Demolier London, which has been my bag du jour lately. I'm gonna complete the look with my Ray-Ban Sunnies. Little hoop earrings by Miranda Fry. Full of statement rings. So this is Frida. We finally got her. Oh, after quite a bit of time and she's three months old and I'm in love. We haven't had a puppy. We wanna rest. We haven't had a puppy about seven years. Um, my last doggy, baby Jane, we had her for a long, long time. I'm such a dog person, but with young kids and also traveling a lot, I just, I just didn't think I could make it work, but I just fell in love with her. Yeah, she's definitely giving me a run for my money. I'm constantly chasing her and trying to get her from eating the furniture or my shoes. So I just wanted you to meet her. I'm gonna take her to the vet now. And I have a little easy, what I call, a lazy day outfit that's just like super easy to wear. I got this bodysuit from Amazon, which is just a really cute kind of basic. I don't like to walk around without my butt covered up. Wearing it with like a very nice long white button down shirt by Soma. And I just trying to chew my bag. Hilarious. It's just an old trench coat by Club Monaco. They always make a version of that so it's like nice and flowy. And then my Chanel boots that I got on Fashion File. I love finding a lot of my investment items there. I'm wearing my custom Ziva necklace. Growing up, like I never had anything custom because my name is so weird. So anytime I find anything custom or if I can't customize something, I love it. I have a discount code for this if you want to create your own custom necklace. They're super affordable and it's woman owned. I love it. And then I just finished the look off with the this horse bit Gucci belt that I've had now for a while. Um, and I think I'm gonna actually take it off. It might be nice just to not, like, not wear a belt at all. Finishing the look off with my Demolier London bag, which is just on repeat lately. So we just got back from the vet and I'm going to date night in a little bit. And this is what I plan on wearing. All by Amazon actually, except my hip, my bag. <laughs> she, she wants the pearls. So these shoes are called um, Dream Pairs and they make some really fun and comfortable shoes that are just really high quality. I love them. And the joggers are also by Amazon. If you're looking for a pair of joggers that is really high quality and just a beautiful fit, these are true to size. They also have them in black. I just don't have anything in this kind of chocolate full leather color, so chose that. This net top is also an Amazon find, and it's kind of sporting a big trend right now, which is significant shoulder silhouette with shoulder pads. They have it in a few different colors. I just wanted a cream just to make it nice and neutral. But this bag adds a little pop of color and just kind of elevates the whole look. But it's still a little chilly, so I'm bringing in this bomber from Anthropology that is an older find, but it has some nice brown tones as well and just adds a little bit more depth and some nice texture. So I have the faux fur, the knit, and the faux leather material that, um, that I really love because it's really nice and buttery. Another option to wear this outfit would be this black and white checkered Zara blazer that I really like. It looks a lot more springier than the other one. Just let me know in the comments which one you think works better. If it's this black and white blazer or the faux 
super bomber. Working from home today, it's still very cold outside, but I'm wearing a little cardigan backwards. And so all I did was kind of do this little trick here, crossover. I love the way the back looks. And I'm layering it over my, my Amazon Skims imitation dress that I've been loving. You just kind of fasten here and then smooth it out. This is a camisole dress. So I like to just have a layer because it's still snowing outside. To complete the look, I'm switching out my house slippers by Deer Foams for my knee-high boots and adding my tote as well as a nice cardigan layer. Don't forget to check out my spring capsule wardrobe and hope to see you really soon. Make sure to hit the subscribe button.